Uh, today's video is not a planned one rather i felt let me share my experience with you or rather the experiment with you uh, this is the nano cube you can see beside me uh, for my beta and i find that plants are melting let me first show you what is happening and then discuss what i am going to do so this is the tank you can see more or less all my uh, styrogyne ribbons are melted few of them left even the grass is not doing well this is a relatively new tank I set up with ADS oil there is a hang on back filter I'm dozing regularly but still it is melting I have gone through different literature and the primary reason for melting everywhere uh, it is shown that lack of nutrient Given the fact this is a very highly nutrient soil and given the fact that I am dozing, the question is then why they are suffering from the lack of nutrients. Maybe because of the too much of algae. I have cleared the glass. You may not see it but if you see the filter back or the, or the driftwood which is used here, you can see that it is full of algae even on the leaves of those plants there is algae the other reason may be lack of carbon dioxide now given the fact this is a low tech tank i cannot solve the problem of carbon dioxide but to solve the algae problem i decided that let me release few very small algae eater here and check if the algae are clear whether the plants come back or not the plants which are melted it is impossible to salvage them but still you can see there are some greens there hoping that some life is still there in those plants my beta is here uh, after releasing the algae eater i will wait for eight to ten days and if my plants come back that will prove that the algae is out competing these plants in getting the nutrient. I am not going to stop my dosing. I am going to dose my plants with liquid fertilizer. But at the same time, I will also have those algae eater to do their work, hoping that some of these plants can be salvaged and it will bring back to its life. Let's see what happened. So these are the autosynclears. These two autosynclears I'm going to release here. I don't know how my beta will react. This is his place. But look at this. So messy. Maybe within a span of 10 days, they can clear it up. After three days, styrogenes repens more or less gone but the grass is coming back and you can see from the leaves the autosynclears are working hard you can see one of them here so hopefully maybe seven more days i have to wait day six you can see the leaves of this plant in the back side are getting cleared the glass is clear even the hair grass are coming back you can see the root system is developing but the problem is that too much of brown algae and all my styrogens weapons have lost their leaves although i have not uprooted them i'm waiting whether they can come back or not but something has to be done to combat this brown hair algae so this is my solution this is my solution.
so brown algae is gone grasses have come back the stems of styrogia and ripens are still there i'm waiting for them to revive and if that revive then the experiment is successful this is 10th day day 15 mm, algae is gone you can see crystal clear both brown algae and those film on the driftwood all are gone uh, so what I learned, that's the most important thing. Whenever you are setting up a new aquarium, it is inevitable that uh, plants will be melting. The plants melted because uh, they are converting themselves from immersed conditions to the submerged condition. And also because of the algae, what happened? that they don't get the nutrient to come back. This is a non-CO2 tank, is a low-tech tank. Now the only possible solution is that don't let your algae outcompete your plant. So what I've done, I have released autosynclears and a black molly. Unfortunately, my styrogen ripens haven't come back. You can see the stems are still green, so I'm keeping them. If they come back, I will make another video to show you that but results are in front of you so if you are having a newly set up tank where plants are melting and also algae is there release as many autosynclears and if possible few black mollies as possible given the tank size and wait for 10 to 15 days I'm sure the result I have, I have here, uh, your experience will be also same. So thank you. If you like my video, then please subscribe so that I get motivated to make more videos like this.